I have three bins full of shoes right here. It's about 60 pieces that we're going to be going over today. I'd say this is more of a transitional shoe haul because as we're facing out of summer, I'm picking up sandals and open toe shoes less and less. My main focus now is fall footwear. So all of the boots, the loafers, fleece line things, deep colors, those are the things I'm starting to pick up more of instead. All of the items do have the thrift store tags attached so I'll be sharing exactly how much I paid for everything and also I did have a few people request that I share how much I plan on selling my shoes for so I will also be sharing that. A very rough estimated selling price. I say very rough because I never really know for sure how much these things are going to resell for. I could be having a very slow sales day and I take a lower offer than I intended to or someone could come along and buy my stuff outright at full price. There's no way of telling for sure how much these things will go for in the end but I do have a very good idea and so I'll share that and when I don't I'll do my best. Let's get started with the boots. First pair of boots here are by this brand. I don't even know how to say it. It's M-I period I-M. Me, I'm, I'm not sure. But I pick up this brand sometimes when I see it, as long as it's in great condition. It's not a fast seller, I would say, but it does okay in the end. These were $5, and they do have a silver thing right here. I remember I found the exact name for whatever this is, and I forgot. I'll have to look it up again to make sure I add that to my description. The heel drag is a little bit, but not much. Nothing that is going to make it unsellable. Here we have the good and trusted Steve Madden. I pick up Steve Madden in all seasons, all summer with their sandals, and then all winter with their boots. Some of their boots can go for a lot. A lot of the times it can be blogger favorites, kind of like Zara. So you really have to do your research on these when you're pricing them. These are just classic western style boots with the stacked block heel. They have the back zip entry right here. And these were $7.50. Look at me. I'm already forgetting about telling you about prices. So these past ones here, these MI.IM, I want to say that I probably get about $25 to $27 for these. These right here, as I said, I paid $7.50 for them. And I expect to get about the same, $25 to $27. These are actually little girls western boots. They have studding all on the side right here. They have some contrasting color with the black here and the crackle leather over here. And I don't know if I can find, oh here it is, the brand tag. It's called Coral. It is a western boot brand that does a lot of fancy stuff with their boots. Lots of studs. They're so bedazzled. Those are the ones that will sell for a lot more. Something more, a little bit simple like this won't sell for as much these here I paid eight dollars and fifty cents I never sewed kids corral boots before but if I had to guess I want to say I could probably get close to the thirty dollars for these boots and I guess I should start saying the sizes these right here appear to be a size five I did pick them up in the kids section but maybe a woman who has small feet in a size five could possibly be interested in these we'll have to see another good and trusted brand area this one I'm not going to be able to show you because it's all the way inside but I think a lot of people know what area it is and what it looks like these here were $46 half off so that makes it 23 and they are square toe a little bit of patchwork going on normally for area women's boots I can get anywhere from 50 55 on the lower end 65 75 on the higher end and that's kind of what I expect for these since they are different they're not just your typical all brown or all black they have the patchwork the embroidery the square toe so I expect these to do better than the others these here are a size 7 another western boot brand that I don't pick up as often as Ariat but I do pick it up often enough these are Justin boots they have the kilt tie detail right here they're 
their beautiful color combo with the light tan brown and the blue right here lace up style these here i paid 20 dollars for Hopefully I can get closer to the $50 for these. That's what I'm going to aim for. And these are a size six and a half. These, I went back and forth whether I should pick them up or not because I'm finding that fringe boots are not doing as good as they used to. I guess it's just not a thing. Many people are looking for the fringe stuff, but I like the color a lot. These were $3, and I guess the price probably played a part in that too. $3 for some Toms, Western, Fringe, burnt orange booties this is the perfect fall color so i think they'll have no trouble moving and hopefully i can get closer to the 28 dollar mark for these next up we have this brand that i talk about a lot and pick up a lot it is clark's they have a lot of different lines this one here is clark's collection and i paid five dollars for these i expect these to sell probably close to 25 to 27 dollars these here were made in 2014 that is something that I look at when I'm sourcing Clark shoes I always look at the tag and look at the year because that plays a big part in whether I will pick it up or not and then when I go and price it I always look at the year as well the more new styles I will price up a little more but classic styles like this I will price them closer to $32 and expect to get like about 25 here we have this brand again Steve Madden they are some long boots I think you'd call this material latex right they are pointed toe high skinny heel side zip closure right here I did pay up for these I paid $12.50 but because of the style of them and then also it has a Nordstrom sticker here that was priced at $90. That's not always an indicator of whether something will do well or not. But I thought if they priced them for that much, why not give them a chance? We're headed into boot season. Tall boots usually do really well. So hopefully these do too. I have no idea how much these will go for. If I had to put a price on it, I'd say closer to the $40 mark, but I won't know for sure until I look up this exact style. More simple Steve Madden shoes, I could just price off the top of my head, but when it's something very special like this, I do go ahead and use Google Image Search to find the exact style and actually look up comps on eBay or Poshmark. Oh, these are some beautiful western boots with the cross detail here in the front. They're in excellent condition. Western boots do tend to have a little bit of wear here in the front a lot, so it'll look like they're not in good condition, but this you would consider good, well at least I do, good condition on western boots. This, I don't know the brand. I've never picked it up. It, it says J.B. Dillon. I just picked them up based on the style but I'm sure they're worth a lot because they feel very sturdy and really high quality. I can't even begin to tell you about how much to expect for these. I will look it up and then I will put it here on the screen about how much I expect to get for these. And I paid $23 for these as well. I haven't been telling y'all the sizes sorry if you have questions about sizes of anything i didn't mention just let me know in the comments and i'll answer you there but these right here are size seven and a half here we have these old gringo western boots these right here i just talked about in my most recent reseller income report it was one of my highest sales of the month the other ones i think they were a black color and they had studs everywhere those i sold for about 150 dollars so i want to get at least that much for these hopefully a little more i already have these listed actually and i listed them for 200 dollars so we'll see how much i can get out of them but these are a size nine and a half and I paid $40 for these the reason I was comfortable paying up that much is because I had just sold the other ones and so it was fresh on my mind I thought $40 I think there is a lot of room for profit oh gringo is one of those western boot brands that sell for a lot because they retail for a lot that was the end of bin number one the next two are a little bit more filled and now we're going to 
get into a little bit of boots still, but more ankle boots. And then there's also a lot of pumps, flats, loafers. Right here at the top, we have these. Let me see what this says. Relista, Rylista. I don't know that brand. I've never heard of it. Never picked it up. I'm trying to see if these are real suede or not, but it doesn't say. It's probably just a boutique brand, but this is a beautiful style of shoe that I could not pass up. These were $4.50. A light pink color with a oversized bow detail. Pointed toe, mule shoes, excellent condition. Hopefully I can get about $24 for these. And at a $4 buy cost, it's a good profit in the end. Next, we have these Earth Shoes. There is Earth and then there's Earth Origins. I pick up both of those brands and they tend to sell pretty well for me. I wouldn't say it's as big as a bread and butter brand as Clark's, but it is getting there. I paid $5 for these and they are in excellent condition. I feel like this is a very fall-ish pattern, the dark plaid. And I can use awesome keywords with these shoes such as preppy, academia, school girl so I think these will have no problem moving with all of those keywords and at five dollars I'm thinking I can flip them for about 25 to 28 dollars sticking with the flats we have these lucky brand flats that costed me three dollars and fifty cents they are in great condition as well these sell for more and a lot faster when they are wide width anytime I find these same style lucky brand flats in sizes that are larger and wide they can sell same day most of the time I'm not sure how these with this pattern are going to do but I expect to get closer to the $25 mark for those there this is another brand that I've never heard of or ever picked up it is called Carvella but I just like the style and the gold chain detail it had going on. It is very chunky and thick. These here were $7.50. They have EU sizing of 36 and a half. And hopefully I can get closer to the $28 to $29 mark for these shoes. Just because they're so unique. The tan patent leather is also cool on those. These flats are by J. Crew, But it's not the normal J. Crew brand it says made in Italy usually those shoes command a little bit more money these do have a marker at the bottom that says $9.99 I'm not sure if I'll be able to take that off but my thrift store priced them at $4 it was half off day so I actually paid $2 for these I was not going to pass these up for $2 they are a size seven and a half and just a neutral color I want to say $28 for these flats here we have Corky with the C this is the boutique brand Corky's with a K isn't and that will sell for more this doesn't sell for as much but the reason I went ahead and picked these up is because they reminded me a lot of some shoes called Bernie Mev Bernie Mev if I'm saying that right are known for making these stretchy knit shoes they don't sell for a lot but they always sell and they always sell pretty quickly so I thought why not try the same style but in Corky's and aside from that they are in excellent condition it is a beautiful wedge clog style a beautiful metallic gold color let me see how much did I pay for these I paid six dollars and fifty cents for these hopefully I can get about twenty five dollars born is another brand that I pick up a whole bunch these here are just simple black flats they are in a larger size which is why I decided to go ahead and get them even though I have a lot in my closet right now they are a size 11 and I paid three dollars and fifty cents for these flats I expect to get about $28 for these. Here's some beautiful Tom's Diorce flats. Diorce is when they have the side cut out like this. They are a size 10 and I paid $6.50 for these flats. They have a beautiful tapestry design going on in the back heel. So that gives it a little bit of something extra, something different other than just all plain black. They also have a little pleating detail here in the front. Hopefully I can get about $25 to $27 for these. 
this is a brand that I pick up when I can find it super cheap and when the shoes are in excellent condition. It is called Comfort View. I paid $5 for these and they are in like new condition. They have the square toe with a little bit of croc embossing. They're silver metallic. These don't go for a lot which is why I try not to pay too much. Even $5 is too much for this brand for me. Three to four is even better but because they have all of those cool things going on I thought I could still manage to make something out of them so I'm thinking these would go for about $20 and they are a size 8 this is a brand I'm going to be picking up a lot of as soon as the thrift stores start putting it out. Sometimes some thrift stores around here will put out fall brands and styles a little bit before fall even starts, but a lot of the thrift stores wait till the very last minute. The brand is UGG, which I'm sure many of you know. You can see it right here in this little charm it has on the side. These are just some plain driving loafers by them. When it comes to boots, moto boots, biker boots, those shirling style boots all of those do really well for me all winter so I can't wait till they start putting it out so I can start capitalizing on those these right here were $15 and I expect to sell these for about $45 these I picked up solely based on style they are called creeper shoes they're also a Mary Jane style because they have the strap here they are super chunky and they are by a brand it says MTMG I believe or or is it an N? I'm not too sure. But it says it's real leather insole. And they were only $3.50. Hopefully someone buys these on Depop. They like this kind of retro -y stuff on that site. And if I had to guess, I'd say maybe $20 on the lower end. $25 on the higher end for those red chunky shoes. Here's some more Dior say style black flats. But these are by the brand Naturalizer. This is one of my bread and butter brands. I never go to the thrift store and come back with zero naturalizer shoes I always have a bunch they are pointed toe and they have some unique details these crisscross pattern strips here they are size 9 and I paid six dollars and fifty cents for these usually I can get 25 to 27 dollars for a simple naturalizer shoe like this one here are some Sam Edelman flat loafers these I paid three dollars and fifty cents I expect to get about $28 for these they are a size 7 this is a brand I don't usually pick up it's called bandolino as you can see right there but I decided to give these a go because they are a driving style loafer and those usually do good and because they are different since they are a metallic silver color so with that I thought maybe they'll do okay these were five dollars and hopefully I can get about $28 for these two this brand is called Lane Bryant and this performs just as well as Torrid does for me if you watch any of my other videos you'll know that Torrid is a bread and butter shoe brand for me and so is Lane Bryant some unique features about these black flats is that they're quilted and they're pointed toe also they're in excellent condition so this was a definite pickup at three dollars and fifty cents I'm pretty sure I can get closer to the $25 mark for those pointed flats. Here we have a Gianni Beanie, which is another, I'd say, bread and butter brand for me. I pick it up a lot in their heels and then in their boots as well. I like the color of these, a dark green color, pointed toe, and then they also have this pleated buckle strap in the front here. These were three dollars and fifty cents they were pricing stuff cheap this day that i picked these bunch of shoes up these are a size eight and a half and hopefully i can get closer to the thirty dollar mark for these since they're so unique back to a little bit of booties here we have bcg generation which is not a great brand i skip it a bunch but i really like the dark color blue on this and they have some gold zipper trim going all around the mid so right here 
they are a pointed toe they were six dollars and fifty cents and i hope to get about thirty to thirty two dollars for this just because we are getting closer and closer to boot season so i can start asking for more on these boots here's adriana papel which is a shoe brand that sits around a whole lot but when i find it in unique styles i still pick it up knowing that it's probably going to sit for a while these were seven dollars and fifty cents there's some emule loafers they have a little bit of croc embossing going on in the front and they also have studding all around the trim super unique these these are a size eight and a half and I hope to get closer to $40 for these. Here I have some Harley Davidson boots. These are more on the simple side. When it comes to Harley Davidson, normally I find boots that are chunky. They have lug sole. They're slip resistant on the bottom. I guess these are more dressy style, but I figured they had enough cool things going on. And because we are going to start seeing a lot of boots selling around here, I decided to go for it. Hopefully I can get a decent profit. I did pay up. $17.50 and these are a size 6 but I hope to get at least $50 no less than $40 for these. I did not know that Hey Dude made this style of shoe. Normally I pick up their boat style shoes. Those don't sell for a lot. They sell closer to $20 to $25 so I pick those up when they're in excellent condition and very very cheap. These weren't that cheap. They were $10. Oh they were actually. I I thought they were ten dollars after the half off but they were only five dollars so i guess they aren't that bad they have the pink color with a little bit of snake prints kind of a casual chelsea style boot and they are in excellent condition i have no idea how much hey dude chelsea boots go for so i will look them up and put it on the screen for you this is a style of boot that i pick up a whole bunch once we get to the cold weather it is a duck boot but also in this brand sperry as you can see by the bolt in the back also you can see it here on the sole i guess sperry top cider duck boots and men's women's kids it does really well these were eight dollars and fifty cents and i can usually get closer to forty dollars for sperry duck boots these are a men's i believe yes they are men's and they are a size nine and a half here we have some Vince Mules. They're just some plain style, super soft leather mule shoes with a little bit of a platform. These were $8.50. I don't really know how much Vince shoes go for. I have not sold that many, but my guess is that I can get closer to $35 or $40 for these Vince shoes. And they are a size 8. This is a brand that I am very familiar with. It is Vince Camuto. I picked up this brand a whole bunch all year long all the seasons i pick up a lot of their booties these here are perforated they have a bunch of cutouts so they look a little bit more woven they have a chunky block style heel and these were four dollars and fifty cents they are a size nine and a half and i expect to get twenty nine dollars for these boots here we have some super chunky chelsea platform boots they are steve madden boots and i did pay eight dollars and fifty cents for these hopefully i can get closer to thirty dollars and now we are at our final bin the first pair of shoes i want to show you from this bin are these right here they put them in this plastic bag because they are so pokey they would have ripped through the trash bags that they usually use to put shoes in look how unique these are they have a skull right here as a charm i just realized one of the zippers doesn't have it so maybe that's something i'll have to put in the description that one of them or unless i see stock photos and i see one has it and one doesn't but other than that they are in excellent condition i still have the sticker here because i saw them in the back of the cashiers and they had them on hold for me they are by this brand called demonia i've never sold this before but i have heard of it and i'm pretty sure it is a very expensive goth brand i paid let's see 25 dollars for these so i did pay up once I do the research, I'll put it on the screen about how much I expect to get for those. 
Next up, we have some more Clarks. This is also an older style. They are bendables. Well, I'm assuming they're older style because they look like it. And they're from 2010. But the reason I decided to go for these is because they are Mary Jane style. Usually those type of dress shoes do really well for me. I mentioned in my reseller income report about office pumps being one of my bread and butter styles. That is true, but when they're Mary Jane, they do even better. And then these have double straps as Mary Jane. So that's why I thought that they would do well. They were $6.50 and I hoped to get about 27 to 28 dollars for these speaking of office pumps here we have some more these are by the brand Ann Klein which I don't pick up a whole bunch of but when I find their minimalistic style office pumps like this I pick them up these however had something extra unique going on they are croc embossed so maybe some people don't like just a plain pump and they want something a little bit extra on it these will be for them these were five dollars and I hope to get closer to 24 dollars for these here I have converse I thought they were for little girls but but they are a size 6. I did get them from the kids section. So that makes it a little bit better that they are women's size. They have a hidden wedge inside. A beautiful purple color. I think it's coming across as blue on camera. But they are like a dark purple. In excellent condition overall. And these I did pay $10 for. Which normally when it's simple uh Converse I try to stick closer to the $7 mark but when they're a little bit more unique I will pay up closer to 10. These are some dream pairs kitten heel style pumps in a cobalt blue color. Dream pairs is one of those brands that I will pick up when it's in excellent condition and super cheap. These were $4.50 and they are in like new condition. I think I will get close to $18 to $20 for those blue pumps. Here we have a Vionic, a bread and butter for me. These are lace-up style loafers in a super soft suede material. These were $4.50, which is very cheap for Vionic. They do have a little bit of wear or maybe like splatter of some sort of substance here. So hopefully I am able to get that off. I'm going to try scrubbing it down with soap and then letting it dry. If I can get that looking really well, I'm pretty sure I can get closer to $40 for these. And they are in great condition these are a size 9 here's this brand I was talking about earlier Torrid these are some pointed toe patent pumps with a little bit of leopard print and they have the red heel very rockabilly ish so that is the keyword I'm going to use to sell these I paid four dollars and fifty cents for these and they are a size 12 wide and I would say about twenty seven dollars for these pumps this is a new to me brand called Able. I'm pretty certain I've never sold it before, but I've seen it around Poshmark, and some of their shoes can sell for a lot. These are snake print, pointed toe, Dior say. So a lot of things going on enough to get them sold. They were $6.50, and since I don't have that much experience with this brand, I am not sure how much I'll be able to get for them, but I will put it on the screen. I'll do the research. These are a size seven and a half. This I have sold a lot of it is called pleaser they make a lot of dressy shoes for women some of them are very exotic looking and some of them are more plain these here are more on the plain side a very beautiful pink color this is very much barbie core so if that was still very trendy that will probably have gotten these sold but still i think they have a very high chance of doing really well they wear eight dollars and 50 cents which is a little bit up there for this brand because it doesn't sell for a whole lot but it does sell fairly quickly so my hope is that I will at least get $25 from these this is a brand that I do sell for a very high dollar 
these are Tory Burch, but I may have paid up too much for these. They were $35, which is not a bad price for Tory, but I feel like these are more on the simple side. They do have the Tory Burch logo here, but if this was gold, that would have been that much better. But I still wanted to go ahead and give them a shot because I do sell a lot of office pumps. They are a size 8, leather upper, leather inside. After I get this front parts clean they're going to look excellent i'm going to try to get close to 60 to 70 dollars for these tory shoes i don't sell much athletic shoes but i couldn't leave these behind they're a mustard yellow color some men's air maxes i paid 23 dollars for these and they are a size 12 because I don't sell athletic shoes and men's shoes, I don't sell that a whole bunch. I have no idea how much these will go for. So I will also put these on the screen for you. These I sell a lot of, this style in particular. It is an Oxford style shoe. It's a pretty rose gold metallic color. It has the brogue detail, which are these little holes right here. It has a wing tip. So as you can see, a lot of different cool factors. So I couldn't leave it behind, even though I have no idea what brand this is. It says Buco. They were $4.50. And I'm going to try to get maybe $27 or 28 for these oxford shoes soft is a bread and butter brand for me s-o-f-f-t and these are in excellent condition kind of an oxford style dress shoe as well but with a heel these were seven dollars and fifty cents and i expect to get about 29 dollars for these maybe this i should have left behind they are steve madden pink patent leather moto style shoe because it has a zipper right here a little bit of a platform and these were eight dollars and fifty cents they are a size nine i think what motivated me to get these is the fact that they are in excellent condition but i picked up a few sneakers in this style with the zipper on the side and they tend to sit a lot so hopefully that's not the case with those these are by the brand Birkenstock if you can see it embossed there on the side I've never sold Birkenstock sneakers before I've sold sandals and boots but never sneakers I paid $37 for these sneakers so hopefully it pays off I don't know how much sneakers by this brand go for I'll put it on the screen for you they are a EU size 38 this is a shoe that I should have probably done comps on those and the Tory Burch because that's a lot to pay $35 here's this brand called Rock they make mostly work style career style dress shoes for men and women these were seven dollars and fifty cents and they are a men's size ten and a half a pretty dark brown color I expect to get thirty four dollars out of these Rockport shoes here we have some chunky sketcher shoes I think these are called jammers I've sold these shoes before but they were true vintage these aren't true vintage I think it's just Skechers trying to remake some of their vintage shoes but these look like a newer tag and it says a memory foam air cool just like their newer models do and they are in like new condition which is why I decided to pick them up at the very high price of $25 which is not a lot $25 for some brand new or almost new Skechers shoes like these but when you're trying to resell them I'm not sure how that's going to pan out but those true vintage shoes I do sell for like 50 closer to $60 sometimes so hopefully even though these aren't true vintage and they are modern I just realized they have the tags attached I'm going to say about 50 to $60 for those here we have some Doc Martin shoes I paid let's see 35 divided by 2 $17 for these shoes they are a purple color with the classic yellow contrast stitching on the side a little bit of a platform these are a men's size 8 and my hope is that I can sell these for about $50 this is a brand I talked about earlier Gianni Beanie normally I do heels by them I don't do a lot of sneakers but I thought these were cool with the lemon print and the stripe print at the bottom 
they were seven dollars and fifty cents and they're in like new condition so hopefully i can get close to thirty dollars for these oh here's some true vintage sketchers here's how the brand looks like on the sole and the inside here's what it looks like so as you can see a lot different than the other ones that are more modern this just has sketchers with nothing else added to it like the other ones did and these were also a lot cheaper they were seven dollars and fifty cents and these are a women's size nine and if i'm lucky enough to get what i usually get for vintage sketchers shoes hopefully these sell for about $50 this was a style based pickup there's some white leather sneakers with star prints here on the side they are a small size a size 5 it could be girls I'm not sure I'll have to look that up they are a brand called Vanelli Sport Vanelli is a brand that I used to pick up a lot more often in the past nowadays I try to be more selective with it these were $8.50, but I feel like you can never go wrong with a classic white style shoe. So I want to say about $27 for these Vanelli shoes. Here we have some more Converse. They are blue and yellow in the front. They are like new. I paid $17.50 and I did that because they are like new and because they have a platform. And let me see. I think they're unisex. Most Converse are, although not all of them. They are a men's 9 and a women's 11. I think I'm going to list them in a men's just because they look more masculine to me. But if they're not selling, then I can just easily switch it over to a women's. I'm going to shoot for a back out $40 for these since they are like new and they have a platform they're not the normal flat converse these I picked up solely based on style as well they're called Zedea I picked them up just because they are pumps with the low heel and they're a bright red color in excellent condition I paid five dollars for these I don't usually find red style pumps that look like this so I didn't want to leave these behind and I want to say on the low end about 27 for these but it just depends once I do the research with this brand maybe I can get closer to 35 Another vintage style that does really well are these style of Pumas. I leave a lot of Puma behind, but when they look like this, I pick them up automatically as long as they're in great condition and not that high of a price. Or the Fenty Pumas, those do really well. Their boots, oh my god, those sell for a whole bunch, the Fenty boots. Or even I recently sold some Fenty Creepers, those do really well. But other than that, I think a lot of Puma isn't going to sell for a lot. These were $4.50 and I can usually flip these closer to the $30 mark this is another one I could have done comps on but I didn't they are by Madewell and I paid let's see $12.50 for these but they are in excellent condition Madewell does sit for a little bit but it usually does sell and sell for a lot so hopefully that's the case with these they are like new they're a pretty neutral color i'm going to shoot to get about 40 to 45 dollars for these that completes this haul hopefully it wasn't all over the place me trying to share how much i paid how much i expect to get for it and why i picked up these things Hopefully you still found it very helpful. That is my goal with these thrift hauls, just to share everything I can that I can think of to help you pick up better shoes to resell and make more money. Make sure to stay tuned for my reseller income reports that I do at the beginning of every month. There I share what shoes ended up selling for the most money. I share the best and the worst sales and just my overall income for the month. If you want to watch more thrift hauls like this one, I will leave a playlist for you right here in the comments down below let me know if any of these brands were new to you or any brands that you've recently learned about that you want to share with us in the comments thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll see you in the next one